Hey guys, welcome back to Allie Can Cook featuring Mama McManus. Hi, I'm Mama McManus. And I'm Allie, and on today's episode of Allie Can Cook, we are going to be showing you guys two ways to make portobello mushrooms a little bit more exciting. Right. Yes. So we've definitely talked about this before on our channel, and I'm for sure showed you guys on Insta Stories before how I usually make my portobello mushrooms, which is pretty much just covering them in some olive oil and steak seasoning and frying them up like a steak, which is really good and super simple and easy. But then again, sometimes you get a little bored of that. Exactly. And you want to spice it up a bit. So we found two new ways that we like to cook our portobello mushrooms to make them a little bit more fancy. Yes. But just because they're a little bit fancier, it does not mean that they aren't easy to make. These are actually pretty simple and they don't take a lot of extra effort at all. Well, I think what's really great about these particular recipes that we're doing is um, you get tired of just having a mushroom with the steak sauce, even though it's really good. Mm -hmm. This is sort of like jazzing it up a little bit and it's perfect for um, when a hostess says to you, what can I make you? Exactly. And then you can give them this really simple recipe. Yeah. So if you guys want to see our two new ways that we like to make our portobello mushrooms, keep watching. Alrighty guys, so that is how we make our stuffed portobello mushrooms, two kind of unique, mm -hmm. interesting ways. As you saw in the video, we used um, a vegan cheese, it's called Nuts for Cheese. We used the blue cheese because we thought it would give it a real zing, and blue cheese is a bit stronger, so if you're not used to it, um, you can always use a different type of cheese because yeah. they have different types of varieties. They have brie, they have rouge, they have a lot that you can select from, but we thought that the blue cheese would really complement yeah. the mushrooms. And when we say blue cheese, it doesn't actually taste like blue cheese. And if you buy their brie cheese, it doesn't actually taste like brie per se. It's more of like a vegan cashew based cheese that just has it. It's like a good cheese and cracker. So whatever one you buy, is, we've tried at least three or four now mm -hmm. and we've enjoyed them all. Yep. Again, we just went for the blue because we wanted a stronger tasting cheese this time. But we're gonna dig in now. Okay. Do you wanna do the potato first? Let's do the potato first. Okay. It's so good, guys. It's like a cheesy mushroom soup. Mm. Mm. It's so good. It's like decadent, like you'd get at a restaurant. Oh, that was really good. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm glad we went with the blue cheese. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Let's try the tomato one now. I'm sure it's gonna be just as good. We topped it with some sprouts. And when you roast something in the oven, the tomatoes, they come out sweeter mm -hmm. and really tasty. So good. So good? So good, guys. Mm. Wow. They're both amazing. So definitely make these this summer. They are awesome. You won't disappoint your guests or yourself if you're making them for yourself, because okay. I'm definitely making these again this summer. We hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe. We make new vegan videos every single Thursday, and we will see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.